very special kind of acceleration that you have been experiencing since you were a little baby and first moved around in your crib or definitely when you first started walking. I can hold these two balls. You can see I have a tennis ball here and a ping pong ball. And other than the fact that one is green and one is blue, what is the basic difference between these two? Wow. Yeah, one is a lot smaller than the other, isn't it? Let's see if this makes any difference in the way they fall. Well, I want you to watch very carefully, and we're going to see which ball wins. Which ball hits the floor first? What did you see? It was hard to tell, wasn't it? Looked like they hit at the same time, didn't it? Oddly enough, this is what a scientist named Galileo found in the very early 1600s. He found that if you drop two objects, even though they're quite different, they land at the same time. We're looking at a very special kind of acceleration here. We're looking at what we call acceleration due to gravity. Now, why do we say this is acceleration due to gravity? In fact, why does this ball fall downwards? Because of gravity. Because of gravity. Exactly. It's the same thing that is pulling you toward the center of the Earth. What some people said, though, is you didn't take heavy enough objects. What if you take a real light object like this sheet of paper? and drop it with a heavy object. I bet then they don't fall at the same time. Well, Galileo said they would. So let's try that and see what, what we can find out. I have a sheet of paper here that has a mass of probably about two grams. And this is a 100 gram mass. So this is 50 times more massive, 50 times heavier, if you will, than the paper. Let's see if it falls 50 times faster. Now watch very carefully. We want to see what wins here. Oh. Was Galileo wrong? No. 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 Well, I sure saw the weight hit first. What's happening with the paper? Air resistance. Air resistance. In other words, the air is buoying up the paper as it falls down. <coughs> How can I change that? I could drop them in a vacuum, Gina. Yes, an excellent suggestion. Now, we all need to breathe here for a while, so we can't be in a vacuum right now. But what we can do is make them a similar shape. I'm going to wad up the paper and see if shape made any difference in that air resistance. Now, does the paper weigh any more than it did before? No. no, they both still, this is still 50 times lighter than this, isn't it? Now let's drop them, and what do you see? They land at the same time. So it turns out Galileo was right after all, and everything does accelerate at the same rate, no matter what its size, no matter what its weight. A shape does make a difference as long as you're in air because of the air resistance that you so well pointed out. 